Hello, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solution. Thank you for your time. I am continuing the investigation into Black Lives Matter, specifically, where is the money? If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I completed a full investigation on the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and on the 17 chapters underneath it. In this video message, I'm going to focus in on one fictional character named Kimberly. And Kimberly is asking the question, where is my money? Kimberly donated $1,000 on the blacklivesmatter.com website six months ago to support a community garden. The community garden never happened, so Kimberly was very upset because she did not know how Black Lives Matter used her $1,000 donation. So we've seen the protests for several months now by Black Lives Matter supporters across the United States and across the world. I support the slogan, Black Lives Matter 100% because I'm Black and I believe that Black Lives Matter. However, I have made my position very clear in that I do not support the Black Lives Matter entities that generate revenues from across the world from people who genuinely believe that their money is benefiting the Black community when it is not. I have shown in my other investigations, you can go to my YouTube channel and click on playlist and then click on BLM investigations because I have shown, I have proven that the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and the 17 chapters do not provide financial transparency. You cannot clearly follow the money. So I am continuing with the video messages to prove that this is still the case. Follow the Black Lives Matter money. That's what I'm going to attempt to do in this video message. But I can tell you that we are still not going to be able to see exactly where the money is going in the Black community to tangibly help community projects or people in the Black community. Please continue to watch this video because I do have a surprise guest, if you will, at the end of the video that is going to share additional information that I do not have the ability to share because I don't have the resources that this person has. So hang in here and wait until the end of the video because you're going to be surprised at who I'm going to share with you. So the steps to follow the money that the blacklivesmatter.com website receives are as follows. Step one, donate to blacklivesmatter.com. So you go to blacklivesmatter.com, which is, this is the home, home page, and you click on the donate button. That's step number one. Step two, the money that you donate on blacklivesmatter.com goes to a nonprofit organization called Act Blue. So Act Blue is a nonprofit organization that serves as a pass-through organization for organizations and politicians who are considered on the left to raise money. 
So when you give money to blacklivesmatter.com, it goes to Act Blue as a pass through organization. So what they do, this is Act Blue, they take 3.95% of your donation as a fee, 3.95% transaction fee on each contribution, which is your donation. So that means Act Blue took $39.50 from Kimberly's $1,000 donation. That's gone off the top. Step three, Act Blue sent past tense, sent money to Thousand Currents. Thousand Currents served as the fiscal sponsor for Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation from 2016 until July 2nd, 2020. So again, Thousand Currents served as the fiscal sponsor. And you can Google fiscal sponsor to understand what that role means. But in a nutshell, they were supposed to manage the money that Act Blue sent them from people who donated to BlackLivesMatter.com. Not only manage the money, but also provide or complete or handle all of the administrative tasks that go along with managing millions of dollars. But like I said, as you can see the note here on this page, Thousand Currents is pleased to share that Black Lives Matter formalized its relationship with Tides, a philanthropic partner and nonprofit accelerator dedicated to shared prosperity and social justice. This unique path partnership will accelerate and further the extraordinary unparalleled success of Black Lives Matter Global Network, and they call it project, the P is for project, chapter-led decentralized organizational model. So this is the announcement that Thousand Currents is no longer serving as the fiscal sponsor for Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation our project. This name has changed four times within the last two months. It's gone from Black Lives Matter Global Network to Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation to Black Lives Matter Global Network Project. And it was originally just Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, I'm sorry. It was originally just Black Lives Matter. So it has four name changes. But Thousand Currents served as a fiscal sponsor from 2016 until July 2020. And on July 2nd, 2020, the Tides Foundation became the fiscal sponsor. Step four, now Act Blue still accepts the money. If you go to blacklivesmatter.com, make a donation. It still has to go through Act Blue as a pass-through, but they now send the money to the Tides Foundation. So Tides, this is an, an announcement on the Tides website. Tides welcomes Black Lives Matter as a new partner. Tides, Tides welcomes Black Lives Matter as a new partner. Tides Foundation has launched the Black Lives Matter Support Fund which will support Black Lives Matter Matters grant-making activities. I'm not going to read this whole thing. You can read it. But here is a new title, a new reference, Black Lives Matter Support Fund. This is so convoluted, and I think it's on purpose that this is convoluted. The name changes, the different support funds, the different, the different entities, the different pass-throughs, the money is going through all of these steps before, they even, before it even gets to the Black community. Now, the Tides Network, which is the new fiscal sponsor for Black Lives Matter, has four subsidiaries. Now, the Tides Foundation, excuse me, let me back up. The Tides Foundation is the fiscal sponsor 
for Black Lives Matter. The TIDES network includes the TIDES Foundation, the TIDES Center, TIDES Incorporated, and TIDES Two Rivers Fund. All of these five things in total have different employer identification numbers on the irs.gov exempt organization search page. These are five different entities. You have the TIES Network as one, as the umbrella, if you will, and then four subsidiaries. And TIES Foundation is a fiscal sponsor for Black Lives Matter. But if you do your research and you get the Form 990 information returns for each one of these TIES entities, you will see that they generate millions of dollars and no one knows where it goes. It's just totally ridiculous how this whole thing operates. So step five, the Tides Foundation then grants money to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation or projects chapters. So when, a, when the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation needs money, then it has to go to the Tides Foundation to get the money in order to make grants to its chapters. And here are the chapters for the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. So here's another uh, step in the process. The Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, our project has to now go to Tides and say, hey Tides, we need grant money to grant to our chapters. And then they disperse the money to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation or project to then disperse to the chapters through a grant making process. And here are the chapters for the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. Now this page, if you've been following me, you know this page is familiar because I've done investigations on each and every one of these chapters and I've posted the investigations on the YouTube channel on the BLM investigations playlist. So you can go there and look at the information. Let's go to number 10 though with the asterisks. I want to explain that Michigan is not on the map because Michigan was just added as a chapter in the latter part of June. Number 12, New York, New York has two asterisks because I wanted to remind you that the New York chapter asked to be removed from the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. On its website, you can read that they thanked the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation um, administrators or leaders, if you will, for allowing them to serve as a chapter, but for, for reasons they did not stipulate, they asked to be removed. So they should not be on the list. But when I check the list today, they are still listed as a chapter. So those are just two points I wanted to make about the chapters. So we saw all of the protests that were going on this summer and not only in the areas where George Floyd was killed, but across the United States, across the world. And everyone is commenting on the multicultural look of the protesters and i am all for people chanting black lives matter i'm all for that but i don't support the lack of financial transparency it's just pathetic that millions of dollars are being donated to blacklivesmatter.com which is the website for the black lives matter global network foundation or project and we don't know where the money is going we have no clue where the money is going but hang on like i said i have a special video message that i want to share with you from a person who has the financial resources to provide much better resources than i can so just hold on just a little while longer follow the black lives matter money and that's what we are trying to do and i wish more people would get behind this message of following the money and forcing the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation or project leaders to be more transparent. 
So now it's time for me to shock you. I am going to shock you when I show you the picture of the person that I am going to share a video message from. I couldn't believe it myself, but someone who commented on my YouTube channel on one of the video messages suggested that I look at this person's video because they, his team has done a phenomenal job of following Black Lives Matter money with an actual audit that I would not be able to get a copy of. So that's why I'm bringing this person video in. So hold on, because you're going to be surprised. Glenn Beck. Yes, I'm going to actually play a snippet of a video from Glenn Beck, who I am not, I, I, he's not, I'm not a fan of his. I don't, I'm not wild about this person. I would not have even gone to his channel had someone not recommended that I take a look at this video message that he posted regarding millions of dollars I mean, millions of questions for Black Lives Matter as far as where is the money. So I went and I was completely fascinated and blown away by the research that his team compiled. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing right now so that I can cue up the video and share it with you, just a small snippet of it. And you can go back and look at the full video if you want. But I'm going to start from the point where he is going to actually show the audit of the um, Thousand Currents um, um, nonprofit organization to show how Act Blue and Thousand Currents are misusing the millions of dollars that people are donating to Black Lives Matter, thinking that the money is actually benefiting the Black community, which it is not. So just, if you would just bear with me for about um, 10 seconds so that I can cue up the video and let you see his comments. So thank you for your patience and it'll be up in just a moment. Just a moment. As you know, I don't believe in just um, talking. I believe in sharing the information. I don't believe in just telling you things in the videos that I have already shown. I don't believe in just talking i believe in sharing so i am going to go ahead i think i pulled up the video i'm going to go ahead and share what he said about black lives matter so here we go Instead, going to alternative economy. 
shortcomings and climate justice in South America? The answer is, I don't know, because Black Lives Matter, a corporation, and Thousand Currents absolutely refuse to be transparent with their donation funding. We've got millions unaccounted for and not even a hint of explanation. But what about what, what, is, what about the money that is being released to BLM? Can we follow that? Well, the Daily Caller has been following the money as well, and they found the financials for Black Lives Matter, the global network, for the years 2017 through 2019. I already showed you that Black Lives Matter is only getting the scraps left over after Thousand Currents gets their hands on your donations. I'm assuming that anyone watching the show actually donated to Black Lives Matter. But this is how they've been spending those scraps. $899,000 on travel expenses. $1.6 million on consulting. Who's consulting them? $2.1 million for their salaries. Only $328,000 went to their various local chapters. Wow. If someone donates to Black Lives Matter, that's the, the, the depressing money chain. It first goes to Act of Blue. We have no idea then if it even gets claimed, in which the money then goes dark, or if Act Blue cuts the check to where it's supposed to go, in which all money also goes dark. But if it makes it to thousand currents, the money is either kept by that organization, in which the money goes dark, or a smaller portion finally goes to Black Lives Matter Global. From there, they spend over 80% on their own salaries, travel, and consulting. All in all, only 6% goes to the local chapter. That's insane. So I'm going to pause the sharing of the screen and just recap and let you know that... Um, I'm sorry. Just one moment. Okay, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, although I rehearsed going through these different steps, I'm still, I'm still not there yet. So thank you for your patience and um, with me. But what I was trying to say was um, Glenn Beck has the resources to access information that I would not have. And that's the only reason that I shared that video with you. But I know, I hope you can agree that the information that he did share is ridiculous. It is just makes no sense on what he shared with us regarding Black Lives Matter. So even though I'm not a fan of his, and he is not, I'm not a fan of his, I'm sure, because he doesn't know who I am. And I don't really care for him um some of the things that he says but the truth is the truth the truth is the truth and i wanted to share that audit with you because it's astonishing the way that he broke everything down and how we see how little actually goes to the black community and the only six percent like you said the scraps go to the black community but where does that go Remember in the videos that I did for all of the chapters, remember we talked about that? And we talked about none of the chapters, none of the 17 chapters were showed financial transparency. So it was over $300,000 that his team calculated actually went to the chapters. But what did they do with the money? We still don't have any tangible evidence of anything that's being done in the black community with the little bit of money, as he calls scraps, that they do get. So we're still trying to figure out where is the money. Thanks for supporting my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. It's called Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. 
all of the Black Lives Matter investigation recordings are in the Black Lives Matter investigations or BLM investigations playlist. If you would subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And then like the video if you like it. And then click on the bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Again, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. My website is trustsusanwoods.com. Thank you so much for your time. And again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Have a great evening.